The movie starts with Terry Richmond riding on his bike while listening to music. He gets hit by a police car. The policeman orders him to stay on the ground while he demands to know what is going on. One of the officers go through his bag and pocket to check for weapons. They see a lot of cash on him, and he tells them he has it to bail his cousin out of jail. The officers harass him and withhold his money because they believe it is drug money, even though he explained where he got the money from. Terry arrives at town hall and explains some policemen took his money that he wanted to use to bail his cousin and that they are from that police station, but the man he meets is of no use to him. He gets walked about by a woman in the station whose name is Summer. They both go to get a drink. He asks her if she can help get his money back. Summer gets the information about his cousin and what he is in jail for. He tells her he is in for drug possession and that some time ago his cousin was a witness against a high-profile gang that committed murder so if they transfer him to the state facility, he will get swarmed. Summer tells Terry she will try her best to help him, but he should try gather some money before his cousin gets transferred. Terry calls Mr. Liu from Canlong Chinese Restaurant to help gather money for his cousin's bailout. Terry is by a riverbank to catch a fish. He catches one and cooks it for dinner while he camps in the woods. The next morning, Terry goes to the Shelby Springs Police Department to report the money that was taken from him as robbery. He describes the man to the officer woman, and when Terry says the officer's name, the woman excuses herself. Terry looks around and sees the name of the officer on one of their boards, meaning he works there. Another officer goes to Terry and tells him to leave. Another officer goes over to Terry and tells him he was a subject of legal interdiction and should leave the station as he is harassing the officers. Terry asks to at least see his cousin, but wasn't granted permission to. Terry proves to be adamant on getting his money back. Terry negotiates with the officers on getting his cousin bailed. Terry returns to his camping ground and burns his statement. The next morning, Terry is riding on his bike. He arrives at the station at the time it was agreed for him to come and see his cousin, but when he got there, he was told he had already been moved. Terry rides to catch up with the bus transporting the prisoners. He catches the bus and tells his cousin he has got to request protective custody and to stay low. The scene switches to Terry calling Mr. Liu to ask for the money but Mr. Luke tells him he implicated his business because of his statement and can't provide the money. Terry tells him he made his statement clear and tells him he will make it right. Terry arrives at the town hall. He sees Summer. She tells him she can't help him and that she could lose her job and tells Terry to leave. Terry is pissed at this point because it seems he has run out of options. As he is leaving, Summer comes and stops him. It seems she didn't want to discuss with him inside. She tells him she will give him the printout of what she found out to him after work, but that is it as she wasn't playing about her not wanting to lose her job. Back at the Shelby Spring Police Department, they read his profile and conduct a search on his job. Just then Terry arrives and one of the officers sees him and informs the other officers. The chief goes to meet Terry and confronts. The other officers in the station find out Terry was in the Marine Corps Martial Arts Program. The chief tries to attack Terry with a gun, but Terry is able to fight him off as well as the other officer. He gets the officer and the chief into the station and demands to know where the female officer is. The chief calls to Jess the female officer to come out so that they can get the situation over with. Terry asks for the keys to the property room where his money is. He takes only 10K because they made a deal. He asks Jess to fake his arrest so that the SWAT team outside won't attack and drive him away till he feels he is safe. The scene shifts to Terry in town hall posting bail for his cousin. Over at where the bail is being processed, Terry seems to be uneasy and watching out for someone. A few seconds later, a police team arrive and detain Terry. An officer comes and tells him someone wants to see him. The officer drives Terry to the chief. The chief gets in the car with him, and they drive. The chief tells Terry that all the cash he saw in the station when he went to take his money back were legally seized and used to support their operations. They arrive at their destination. The chief gives Terry his money back. He also tells him his cousin is in the hospital they are at now, and that he was attacked. Terry is obviously distraught by this information, but is asked to control himself and stay far away from the town. Terry goes to check on his cousin, who is already dead in mourns. Terry packs his things from his camp spot, and Summer goes to meet him there with a car. She gives him what she found about case records that don't match the bail schedule, but he says he doesn't care. He says he knows their town is corrupt, but he only went there to get his cousin, so now his purpose is defeated and just wants to leave. Terry and Summer say their goodbyes. Summer is in bed in her home, but is awoken by a noise. She sees light and thinks someone broke into her home. She goes to the bathroom and sees a syringe, and it seems she had been injected with heroin. She scrambles to call Terry and tell him she is in trouble as she passes out. The scene switches to Terry arriving at Summer's house. But she is okay. It seems it is an attempt to make Summer back off from investigating further on their town. She is a former drug addict who is trying to stay clean to get custody of her daughter. The scene shifts to Terry driving on the road. He's being tailed by one of the police officers at the Shelby police station that asked him to leave the town and never come back and is asked to pull over. The man confronts him. The officer shoots at Terry, but Terry manages to evade. He gets shooted by other officers, 
but he escapes. The scene shifts to Summer looking at her daughter in the playground, but is apprehended. The scene shifts back to Terry. He gets a call from Summer. She tells him not to come to her, and that she got a warning from the police who told her to leave town and stay away from him. Terry tells her he has somewhere they can go. The scene shifts to Summer in a restaurant where she meets Terry and Mr. Liu. He's getting treatment for his gun wounds. Terry and Summer get to talking. She tells him they are manipulating defendants' jail time and that they are on to them because of the folder of what she found out. He tells Summer he will not let the cops get on top and that he will hunt them. The scene shifts to Summer who meets with a friend who knows about the situation. She tells him she knows they are locking defendants up and their local PD is willing to kill to keep them from finding out why. He tells them he can't answer their question as he can be named an accessory for whatever they are doing. He gives them a hint to where to look. The scene shifts to a judge's house. Terry and Summer are there to question him. He tells them an illegal search caused a wrongful death and the settlement near bankrupted the town and the chief of Shelby Stations. Department was deemed uninsurable and got a year to clean up its act. She asks our misdemeanor defendants a threat to this. He says it's because they are a liability and that they flag any case that puts their department in jeopardy. They realize they have to get the court's hard drives. They sneak to where the hard drives are to get them. Someone poured gasoline around and set a fire. So the two have limited time to get what they're looking for and leave the place. Summer tells Terry she has to go back to get something, so Terry should wait for her in the car. Summer finds what she is looking for, but gets caught by the officers patrolling the place. Terry sees the police officers get a hold of Summer and take her to their van. Terry follows them and watches from afar. He attacks one of the police men and asks questions. Terry makes a deal with one of the police officers who is involved in the situation. The scene switches to Summer in the police car, with some police men surrounding the area. The scene shifts to Terry talking on phone with the chief. Terry is trying to break the walls of where they hide their money from the outside. The chief goes to check it out. It turns out Summer's friend in the force is Jess. Terry gives the SDs to Jess and tells her the chief is willing to kill for whatever is on those. He tells the chief that when Summer is safe, he will give back his weapons and cash otherwise he burns them all. Jess detains Terry and tells the other officers to hold fire. One of the officers asks Jess for the drives he brought. She gives it to him and he breaks it. Summer is passed out in the back seat of the police van. The officer is about to shoot Terry, but an officer opposes, and this causes a ruckus. The chief shoots Ev's leg, the officer opposing shooting Terry. Terry uses the distraction to drag Ev away and hide behind a car. Terry throws sting balls at the chief and the other officers. He runs to get in a car to record the incident, while avoiding bullets and attacking any officer that comes his way. He drives to where Ev is who gives him instructions on what to give Summer to make her better. One of the officers try to stop Terry from driving away, but Summer assists in helping get rid of the man. They get chased by the other policemen. They are surrounded. Jess helps the gang and takes out one of the vehicles following them. Terry makes it to the hospital, and they take Ev and Summer to render medical assistance. Terry takes the box where the recorder is and keeps it with him in the hospital. Then, 